Good morning, everybody. Got us a beautiful sunset or sunrise coming up. It's like 6:35, 6, 6:35 and 6:40 in the morning. I've been up since about 5:30. Our dogs that had Zoe and I said they needed, needed to go outside and use the bathroom. We got our our puppy Red over here. Come here, Red. Come here, Red. You wanna say hi? Come here. Red, he's a good dog, but. We're gonna walk down to the garden and do some inspection on stuff. My truck, we diagnosed the problem. Uh, I have a problem with the truck and it's seems to be seems to be a short or something or if you don't turn the key off right, the battery battery runs dead and there's been several times it's gone down and we've had to use a jump box and ginger jumper cable just to start it. So but with, with, with there being a constant, there, there could be a short and something be draining power. Um, but it's, we well, gotta get a new battery Thursday, so we gotta find a ride down to, to the store, probably Walmart. Get a big enough battery that, for that truck, but yeah, still be able to fit in the battery box. Uh, be nice if we could order one off of O'Reilly's and have O'Reilly's deliver it to us i just figured we'd go ahead and come down here this morning and uh, look at stuff watermelons and stuff are doing so amazing and I, fer I, I fertilized them a couple times they just like shot up Everything's doing okay. This right here, that's fertilizer and uh, a pesticide for for certain things. Yeah. Stay out. Y'all know better. We have a little big watermelon right there. I don't, I don't know if y'all can see it. Well, this plot is doing good. That's the only one on there, though. I know. Uh, there was last week. There was two or three. They had flowers on them, but I guess they just fell off. Some them darn squash bugs. Uh, I had something this morning I wanted to talk about. While down, down here walking around looking at stuff. Uh, basically, basically my whole life, I, I was raised, you know, don't judge. Especially by, by my dad. Uh, I used to be very very judgmental as a kid and my dad one day he, he told me he goes boy don't ever judge a person until 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 he gets known you know the, the old saying goes don't judge a book by its cover because you never know how that person is until until you get to know him you take for example let's say let's say i didn't know her and you know a person you know you walk up initially you think, you know, you don't know her. You walk up, and you're like, "Hi, I'm Jeremy." Uh, you know, you 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 know, you, you first meet her, your first person will be, "Well, she can be a little snobby at times." You know, you're you're you're, you're thinking to yourself, this and that. You know, you got, you got another watermelon out there. Okay. Yeah, you know. So, anyways, don't never judge a person until you know them, and you've got gotten to know them really good. I've been judged a lot in my life, and so yep, yep, I know you have. We've we've been judged for certain things like, like, do we? No, out. Come on, come on. Because we don't go to church, we don't get up at a certain time in the morning, Sunday, go go to church. I'm about, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna say anything else about that subject. Uh. Basically, you know, just don't, you know, don't judge a person until until you know them. They'd be the nicest couple you ever met. You know, you you wouldn't judge an animal, so why judge a person? Actions speak louder than words. Yep. 
quick just because somebody doesn't do what everybody else does and doesn't follow the norm. Basically, oh. there's another watermelon. Another doesn't right mean there. they're a yep. bad person. And we we do our best not to judge people just by their, you know, what, yep. you know, you see, like, say, on their YouTube videos or stuff. I've, I've heard plenty of stories um, from somebody who knows a lot about YouTube that, you know, there's been a lot of uh, YouTubers out there that on camera, it looks like they have one kind of life when in reality they have another kind of life. And we're trying to be transparent as possible and as realistic as possible. And, you know, like I said, you know, we do our best not to judge people just based on their YouTube videos or other stuff because we don't personally know them and we don't like being judged ourselves. You know, we want people to get to know us. You know, we want to make friends, to have friends that, that we can get together with and once in a while hang out and do do things together you know like you know learn from each other you know yeah as y'all can see this is not a garden this is just a spot we picked out and i was like well i was like, I was like we don't have a tiller we don't have all, any of this i said the best thing we can do is we don't have the materials to build raised beds yeah i've got these two pieces of tin right here i use those to lay down to kill the grass and then move move it over and they make good yeah for race yeah they would, would make good siding and then we got the sides off of that off of that chicken tractor, mm -hmm. we could we could salvage that off of there. I wouldn't mind doing those tin-sided raised beds. I, I really like no, the way those uh, look. I mean, I got my barrels up there cut in half. We're going to do some raised yeah. beds with. But, the, but but if you can make a raised bed about three feet tall, you know, oh, yeah. to take it from the sorters, the way they made those raised I beds. I love their raised yeah. beds. Yeah, we don't know they them. Did, they did a great yeah, job we don't know them, but they've they done an amazing job on their raised beds. They, uh, they seem to really know a lot about farming and. I told Jeremy we can learn a lot yep. from them. I mean, because our, our homesteading, we've always had the mindset to do homesteading and become self-sufficient, which we really want to do. We've always had the mindset, but it's just life happens and you don't have the money to do certain things, but there's always a way around, you know, doing it cheaply. Yep. You know, you don't always have to have a lot of money. To do certain yep. things and i i absolutely love do yourself projects i love you know making things you know easier on ourselves without you know literally cutting corners what what are you looking at we got 0.2 gigs left so it's about to oh end. okay uh, yeah. anyway <laughs> we got a little we got time about 0.2 gigs of data left on our sd card so so i'm probably gonna go ahead and end this video keep keep it short and you dragged me out of bed early this morning. Yeah. Well, you you got to you, you got to call the dentist's office, cancel the dentist appointment because because our truck right. won't start. Mm -hmm. You can't risk going to town and you know getting there, killing the truck, and then it not starting. I know. I got to see this lovely foggy morning. Yeah. Which I absolutely love. As as, as we make further more videos further into the. Um, further into fall, y'all are gonna discover I absolutely love fall. Fall is my favorite yeah. time of the year. And our kids are asleep. They're all passed out. So right now, for the moment. <laughs> once, the, once they get up. Okay, the camera did die on us earlier while we were down in the garden. Uh, and we've actually been pretty busy uh, doing other stuff since then. Jeremy actually got the truck to start running again it turned out it was actually the battery cables um the battery is a top post side post and so he ended up Where is Dad? daddy and bubba ran to the store they'll be back got breckley now here with me and a cat i made me some delicious pork and vegetable wontons and a cat keeps trying to get them i love wontons i really want to make these myself i absolutely love them i've been eating them like crazy but um yeah he ended up having to rig up the 
battery cables, which um, inside the side post connections was actually uh, corroded. So he rigged it up to the uh, top post operating and it fired right up. So we no longer have to get a new battery, which we're really glad about. So um, we're sitting outside at the moment, me and Brecklin are, because it is really noisy in the house because I am in the process of pressure canning some chicken. I had a bunch of chicken breasts that I had to get cut up and canned pretty quick. So I wasn't able to make a video on any of it. I had to get it done pretty quick. Um, so that way it didn't go bad. The turtle, the turtle got set free. Oh, he crawled away earlier. She's asking about a turtle that was in the road earlier. He, I don't know. He's down somewhere in the bushes. But uh, I'll I'll try to do a canning video um, at some point. I am by no means an expert maybe on catting. Yeah, maybe in our bushes, huh? Yeah. I'm no by no means an expert on canning. I am technically self-taught. Um, I've read, you know, follow a lot of books on canning, and um, unfortunately, I was never taught. How to do any of that stuff when I was younger. I wasn't raised on a farm until I was uh, 14 when I moved here from Oregon. Um, but in Oregon, I was not raised on a farm. I wasn't taught gardening, anything like that. So anything that has to do with um, most farming, I mean, I know how to raise chickens. I know how to, uh, you know, I know how to uh, herd cattle. Certain things like that, but gardening, I'm completely self-taught, um, you know, having to learn by trial and error, and uh, so, you know, a lot of it, if, if I'm doing any of it wrong, you know, by all means, I don't, I don't mind people, you know, giving me pointers and, you know, saying, hey, you know, you need to do it a different way. I don't mind that. Um, but like I said, I do follow a lot of candy books. Hang on a second. Yes. Okay, we're going to come back in. It's just a little too hot out here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get your toys. It's just really hot out there. It is like, come on. It's like 92 degrees outside it was really warm but uh yeah i am pressure canning chicken right now that paddler is going nuts and i still have 50 minutes left on it so but yeah i'll do it uh i'll do it another canning video soon i really do enjoy canning Putting food up for my family. Huh? Cheyenne's watching something. No, Daddy's playing his game. Daddy will be back in a little bit. So, anyway. I'm sure Jeremy will have more to add to this uh, video when he gets back. So, until then, we'll check back with y'all here in a little bit. Bye. hot outside I think it's like 90 or 92 degrees today and uh, we really aren't wanting to go swimming down uh, in the creek that much because the water isn't flowing that good and we can't really go get a pool at the moment at least so I get to bathe tomorrow so Jeremy had the idea of making our own little little kid wading pool basically out of one of our water tote things I had gotten from my work and so he is cutting it in half and he is gonna make a pool Do you 
think it's going to be too flimsy? No, I have to Well, this is the top part. I wonder if I could plug it for like a raised bed. You can probably just go ahead and use that as a raised bed. That'd be, that'd be cool. Yeah, I gotta go. No, there's a pool. <laughs> you gotta go get the water hose. Well, it has to be cleaned out really good, or is this one of the ones we cleaned out? I don't think it is. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, clean it out. Uh, let's see if we can find something to trim them sides down a little bit. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, so he's going to make a little improvised pool for the kids. And, and it's hot out here. It's very hot. Yes, I told him it was like 90, 92. Somebody's swinging on a little jungle gym there. Look at that. <laughs> this cage, what we're probably going to end up doing, well, it's a jungle gym. <laughs> uh, we may end up using it for, to put, uh, trash bag in by the road or something until they get ready to uh, or Jeremy just may end up cutting it you have anything to cut it with JD look at this get up here and get the thing off of this inside of it what? get get on it and get the thing out there what thing? there's plastic piece there Oh, it's a giant bird cage. Mom, I fit. <laughs> With little Tweety Birds in it. How you gonna get out now? I'm not a bird. <laughs> How you gonna get out? How you gonna get out? Well, we're gonna wash this toad out really good and fill it up and uh, see if the kids enjoy it some. Right. See you in a bit. Okay, Jeremy went and got a grinder wheel that is able to cut through metal and he is working on trimming this cage down. So that way we can put the uh, half the tank back in there so that way the sides don't bow out. cutting metal and metal against metal makes sparks. Uh, I don't think you cut through all the way on some of them. Yeah, right here, it's not all the way through. Oh, I'm going to use that to go around this. No, that, that one. That, no, that, your pool is going to go into, so that way the sides don't bow out. He got the top part of the cage off, and we got to find a flat file and solve the little sharp edges here, but we're going to get to that. We drained all the water out, what the kids were playing in, and we got it now inside the cage. He is about to... Cut off this excess uh, here to make it more 
uniform. So he's about to do that. JD's over there playing in the mud with his monster truck in the water. Silly boy. be the best thing to cut with, but we're doing with what we got. in jail. Oh no, jailbird! <laughs> Careful. Alright. In there. He's got it cut. The reason it looks crooked is because we actually he actually inserted it the wrong way earlier. And uh, the spout has to go in this cup right here so that way can properly drain and uh i'm thinking the other side is a little higher because he he tried cutting it level with the uh rungs here but it's in he's got the hose on we got it got it uh perched up in a good spot get plenty of sun and he's getting the water hose over here so we can uh get it all rinsed out and and filled up all right, we are filling back up nicely. Be a nice little swimming pool for the kids tomorrow, and Jeremy and I may just come relax out here a little bit later tonight. And over here, on the other half, absolutely nothing of this 300-gallon tote is going to get wasted. This other half of the cage... I have flipped uh, upside down to where the cup parts are up and I put the other half of the tote down in it and I'm going to probably drill some more drain holes in these, uh, if you can tell it uh, dips down. I'm going to drill some more drain holes and probably put the cap back on that middle part. And I am going to turn this into a huge strawberry bed. So that way we get a lot more strawberries. Yeah, they are. And here's my little helper who helped me carry. Did you help me carry that toad over here? Yeah. Yeah, what you got there? Oh, some beeswax. Some beeswax? Oh, okay. Be very careful getting them out. Be very, very careful, okay? Yeah, be careful. All right. Well, can you tell them thanks for watching our video? Thanks for watching our video. And do what? Eat some. Eat some. Oh, eat some. Eat some honeycomb. Can you yeah. tell them if they like the video? Hit the like button. <laughs> And the and do what? Eat some beeswax. <laughs> and tell them if you're new, subscribe. And if you're new, subscribe. <laughs>